Hello everyone, today I'm going to tell you how you can open FC24 without using launcher and directly from FC24.exe. So the process goes like this. First of all, uh, go to my Discord server and go to the announcement channel. And in the announcement channel, scroll up, you will see a guide. So go down, uh, you can read it also. But we are interested with the hook.le folder. Just download that hook folder. So I've already downloaded it. It's here. So it contains two files. Those two files are libreditor and NNDS DLL. You can copy the DLL and paste it into the main game directory where you have installed the game. Okay, and it will ask to replace the files. Uh, it's mostly NNDS64. You're going to replace it. Now, uh, close everything in the background and try to open fc24.exe. Let's wait to what that is. Let's wait and see how it opens. So it has opened token uh, required. So this means this is the ticket and I need a token. So I will send this ticket to uh, my Discord server like this. So you're gonna make a text document name it as ticket and open it you're gonna paste the ticket here so and paste it match the ticket as you can see it's similar so I'm gonna save it click OK and close it now go to discord server again and go to the token request section and make a request there as you can see, I have made, made a post in here. Now uh, I'm gonna put the ticket in here and I'm gonna send it. And I will wait until an activator gives me a token. So many people are very curious about this step. You just need to wait until someone sends you a token. Okay. As you can see, activator has sent me a token. Now I'm gonna download the token first, okay? Um, I'm gonna download the token first. And it is here. Now copy the token. And open EAFC main folder. Go to nids.cfz and paste a valid demo token here. You're gonna paste it there. And I'm gonna paste it, okay? As you can see, I pasted it between the commas, between these symbols. So you should also paste it like this, similar to this, and you're gonna save it and close it. Now, open f24.exe. As you can see, the game has launched directly from the EXE itself. No need to launch the launcher. I will I will wait for some time until it loads. Okay, I will fast up the video here. As you can see. Uh, it opened and it showed me this dialog box. So I will show you how to remove this. Click on this uh, box and click OK. Now close all the other dialog boxes that are coming up. So on the left one, on the bottom there is another and the one in the top remains. So go to Windows, go to Settings and you can mess with the settings here but I will show you the main setting. Go to Overlay and tick on the Fox Click on the first box there, okay? Once you have done that, uh, this was the main thing or you can other, even check other uh, other options here which I don't recommend you to play with. Okay? The main thing is to tick that in the overlay box. I'm gonna close it and press F9 to remove that for this time only from the next time it will automatically get 
now i will go ahead and close the fc24 game and show you some other tricks go to live editor folder and go to launcher this is very useful for the people who want to play with mods as you can see i got an error i will show you how to fix this too now go to uh, the launcher and as you can see it is not detecting any game version of mine so go to settings go to advanced launch option and just paste this command here i will give the command in the description below this will be very useful for the people who we who use the mod okay now as you can see as you can see other options you can play the other options so very important thing is to make sure you have selected the correct directory for the game so yes now once you have selected the directory the error will not be showing anymore the overlay we have already done the overlay part from the other from the game itself now go to um, launcher and show the warning message as startup you can even disable that you can play with the other thing uh, now as you can see I have closed the launcher and I'm going to reopen the launcher. I have reopened the launcher and it is correctly detecting my game version and all the settings are saved. Okay. Uh, now you can launch the game either from this launcher or you can even launch the game from FC24 uh, AXC directly. Thank you. Now let's see how you... how. Like, let's see how to update um, the live editor and entire game okay first of all let's talk about live editor so you need to have is hooked alley so the same folder just open it and um, I have already opened it here so this is the hooked alley it got live editor and an NDS okay so if you get a new live editor Download it, open it, copy it, and paste in the hooked folder inside the library editor folder, okay? Like shown in the video. Once you have replaced the files, go back and copy this both. Okay, copy this both uh, into your game directory. So I put the game in local disk C, so I'm going to open it and I'm going to paste. I'm not doing it because there is no update for the library editor as of now. Now, what if the game as a whole gets an update? You're gonna use the XTL tag to update the game. You're gonna paste not a crack. And uh, uh, you're gonna paste not a crack. You're gonna do everything, okay? So, I'm just showing you, you can, after you downloaded not a crack, just copy it and paste it into your game folder, okay? Paste it into your game folder. I'm not doing it now because there is no update. Now, once you're done that, we need to paste one more thing. That is the uh, hooked DLL. Let's see. Okay, this is the hooked DLL. We're going to copy the hooked DLL also. So, copy it and paste it in the game folder. Once you have done all of these, your game will update. And your library editor will also be working. Your uh, immerse will also be working. You can even run the game directly from the FC24 EXE.